So here we are here on our sixth video DIY home tinting tutorials. Um, today we're starting off where we left off after, on the fifth last one with the removal. We did the um, removal of the, the old tint on the glass. Um, now we're going to put some frosting on and um, show you how easy it is. Um, a couple of windows like this with frosting is a, a very easy way to start with window tinting. Um, you're going to see the greatest difference between a professional doing it and you doing it so it's good value for money in this type of thing so I'll just spray it up and um, give it a clean So just angle it down like we've said before, like this, pressing reasonably hard to get all the contamination off, concentrating on the edges and flicking out the bottom like so. That's it like that. Another spray. Some of your paper towel. Your other squeegee. You don't have to go down like this, you could also go straight across if that's um, best for you. And get your cup of towel, wipe off any excess on the top first and then down the sides. And then on the bottom as well. That's a good start. And we'll just grab the first piece of frosting. It's all rolled up, cut the size, square edges, numbered, ready to go. So what we'll do is we'll take off the, the tape and um, we'll use this shower screen here to lay up the, the film or you could get someone to help you take off the backing, it's up to you. So just spray it here like this, you can always clean it up later with um, Kind of missed on the uh, the newly cleaned glass panel. And just transfer that over carefully like this, running up the top edge and, and maybe say let's do the right edge as well. If it doesn't look square, then you can always overlap um, both sides. That looks really good. So a bit more water on there. That's like that. Get your squeegee like this, start at the top. Just concentrate getting that out on the angle, like so. Set your top first. Just make sure when you're doing it that it hasn't got any sun on the window, if you can help it, because it'll just take, give you more time get all the water and bubbles out without the sun drying it out. Alright, we'll cut the bottom first. This time Put your knife in the corner, then split the corner open, then it'll stop the film creasing like so, like this. Get your hard card or, or spear card, whatever you want to call it. Like that, and get a nice square edge. Snap off your, um, your blade. We have a control box here for that. Just take your time in the corners because 
for the first up person, this first up install, this is probably the point that is going to give you more trouble than anything else is the corners. Get them nice and tight. And then we're going to do the top up here. go over the edges again, getting the last lot of water out. Angling it down like that sometimes helps with getting a bit more if it's a tight edge on you. The cut is a little bit close on the bottom right hand side so I'm going to have another little crack at that. Put that down like that, push it in a bit, and just trim it up a bit. Take that little slither out like that and, and it won't spear up on you. Keep going here and finish off. easy was that one window done we'll do the next one and um, then we might come back and show you sometimes what we do is we put a half an inch clear gap around the edge and you get the best of both worlds where you can still see out see the sky and the trees a little bit but people from a distance won't be able to see in so um, we'll do that I'll just get on with the next one and 